Hello everyone, this is Mixed Media in Simple Steps and I am just using just sheets of paper to do some simple techniques and I am layering techniques on top of other techniques to create some mixed media pages that I will probably put together into a art journal later on down the line. So one of the things that I really like to do, it's very relaxing for me, is collage. And so I am going to take some blank pieces of paper because I like pieces of collage underneath paint and other things. It adds a little bit of interest, a little bit of texture, and I just like the way it looks. I use security envelope patterns. I use book pages with all kinds of different languages. Music, this is a crayon rubbing. Um, this is a pattern from a color book, I think. Joss paper, you know, just all kinds of things. Here's a book page that I stamped some circles on, and I would probably just, I like ripped edges. I don't like everything to be really, really straight. So ripped edges are more interesting for me. And here is a lottery paper. I love numbers. Anytime I find numbers on something, I like to save and use those in my collage. So I've just got some blank pages out here. I'm going to get a magazine to glue on so that I don't get glue all over the front of what I am gluing. I can get glue all the way to the edges and not worry about getting glue all over my desk and everything else. And so what I would do is randomly add bits of collage. And since I'm going to be making pages from these pieces of paper, I would probably use both sides, just randomly gluing stuff to the pages. I do make sure that I have glue all on the entire piece of collage so that when I cut the page apart, if I want smaller pages or, or whatever, I know that the entire piece of collage is glued down and I don't have to worry about it coming back up. So that's all I do is just glue some little bits down on a plain piece of paper and I'll do those later. And I also add collage to pieces that already have paint and such already on them. So I've got some littler, littler bits, some color book pages and painted papers, just some little tiny bits of the security envelopes. Um, and again, all I do is make sure there's glue all the way to the edges. There's lots of glue. I messed up on this, this, this spirograph bit here. And so I'm just going to put something over it so I can't see that I messed up. Add a little bit of interest to the page. Um, you know, that's it. I can add quite a bit of stuff, or I can add just one or two bits at this point. And then I will put paint and stamping and all kinds of stuff over the top of these. Um, let's see, let's find another little bit here. That's a cool little page with some paint on it. This page has quite a bit of glue on it, so I need to turn my page. I'm just going to put that over what I've painted. It makes it interesting. It adds texture. 
makes it pretty cool. And this is just for backgrounds. This is what I do for backgrounds. And I am not done with these little pieces of these pages here. I am going to continue to add all kinds of stuff to the pages. Let me add a little bit of book text to this one. Just for some fun. Something interesting. I am not worried about covering other things up. Um, in fact, it adds a little bit of interest when you do that. I've got this little tiny bit of, there. it's parts of circles. And it's just a tiny, tiny little bit. Um, where do I want to put that? Oh, let me put it along the side of that because it looks interesting. And so I just build up things, put layer things on top of other things, have a good time. I'm not worried about what the finished page is going to be. And so I am just doing all this to layer up some backgrounds. And I am far from finished for using these little bits of paper here. I am going to just continue to layer techniques on top of other techniques and just make it more interesting. Adding and adding and adding. And then when I have backgrounds that are really interesting, these are not, they're not there yet. They need a whole lot more. Um, collage is also good when you are adding focal points. So I just wanted to mention that. I will be doing that later when I get going, but say I have a page here. I like to fussy cut my images and it looks really good on these backgrounds with a little bit of collage and a little bit of paint. So I would be adding some of that kind of thing. This depends on where I think I like the looks of it. And that's all I need to say right now about collage. It is great for underneath paint, but you can add things on top of paint as well. I've got these little painted papers. I probably should add those too. As I close here, just randomly put it on there somewhere. I'm all about the random, the unplanned, the imperfect. It makes your page more interesting if you're not really trying to do something specifically. Collage, it is a great way to add texture and interest to your pages. Thanks for watching.